Boom, yo, what's up you guys? Byron Rogers coming back at you with a real quick personal protection tip for Tactical Hive. Check it out. Do you have a cold position around your house? Maybe even around your job? Do you know where everyone's going to rendezvous at, rendezvous at, if there is a forced evacuation, an evacuation that, that has to take place like this in your house, in your environment? This is, it's, it's, it's one of those things that I want you to think about before anything happens, but you should know, you and your family should know, you and your coworkers should know where you're all going to link up at if you guys do have to pop smoke and get out of a place really quickly. Because what it does is it gives you a place um, to get a head count. If there is a fire and you guys all have to get out, the windows, all the different ways to get out of the building. How are you gonna know if everyone's gotten out of that building? Cold position, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and, and it needs to be a position that's not just outside of, the, outside of the house, outside of the structure, but in my opinion, outside of the structure in a safe place. Personally, I like to see at least one terrain feature between myself and the building, just in case it is a human threat scenario so that they can't see you with a line of sight that you're out there. Um, but you need to make sure that your family, coworkers, whoever's in that environment with you know how to get there. Absolutely everyone can get there. And no matter what takes place, if you guys have to evacuate, that is the place. And that's where you'll make the assessment of whether or not you need to go back in and fight to get your people out or whether you can just sit tight and wait for first responders to show up and do what they do, baby. This is Byron Rogers with a quick personal protection tip for Tactical Hive. Out. Boom.